when you come to my house, my doorbell sounds like this. Hey, welcome to the People's Weekly. Uh, I'm Tim. I'm here with Alex Salazar. How you doing today, Alex? Doing great, my friend. How are you? Pretty good. Uh, yeah, Adi, uh, we usually have other hosts, but you're the guest special guest host today. Usually we have uh, Canadian Glenn, who's on vacation, Nolan Hack, who was sick today. So Derek was going to do it today, I just found out, but he had an emergency he had to take care of. So it's you and me today, Alex. Um, right on, right on. Glad to be here with you, my yeah. friend. It's always awesome to have you on. So yeah, um, upcoming on People's Radio, there's not a whole lot other than this show right now. We, we got a couple more my non-objective opinions, but I'm trying to um, schedule with the people, and that's just a real bitch right now. Like, I'm working a double shift the last two weeks. I've been real busy, so like hooking up with people to do to do these shows just seems like it might be another week or two. So my apologies to anybody who thought we were gonna have another my non objective opinion coming soon. Um so yeah, let's um oh real quick, the um Occupy Ice LA camp. It, it's still going. They put up a fence. Um the feds came and put a fence up over there right now. So what happened is I did a live stream about it on Twitter. So, like, you guys can look for that. I'm going I'm I'm to find it right now, and I'm going to read you the number. We're hoping everyone will call and demand that, that they um, remove this fence, because what the fence does, it takes away any um, it takes away any shade they have over there. And it also, get, you know, they have a nice grassy, shady area, and, it, and it's hot right now, so they took it away. The company's name is A Throne. Incorporated. That's at a throne underscore Inc on Twitter, a throne dot com, a t h r o n e dot com, or one eight hundred four four six four six six nine. And please call. Uh, leave them bad reviews on Yelp. What they're doing is they're supporting separations of families and detentions of, of immigrants for no apparent reason other than a misdemeanor. By putting up that fence, they're taking away the freedom of speech of all the activists who have been camping out there like fifty something days now. So that needs to stop. So I'm hoping everybody listening to this can call that number. Hit them on Twitter. They don't seem to have tweeted since 2015, so I don't know if they're seeing it. Go to their website, whatever. So one more time, it's athrone.com, A-T-H-R-O-N-E.com. And the number, if you want to call, is 1-800-446-4669. Demand they take down the fence on Aliso um, at the Metro Detention Center because it's, it's a big problem right now. And someone like me said, maybe I should take it down myself. But the people that have said, if I did that, the, the feds kind of reassured somebody that they'd end the camp if that fence come down by our hands. So we're hoping we could put pressure on the company to take it down. So hopefully y'all would do that. Uh, whoever's listening, please call them numbers, hit their website, shame them until they to take that damn fence down. So, yeah, this week's crazy. I looked at a whole bunch of Republicans been going to jail for all kinds of corruption and embezzlement and money laundering and um, campaign finance charges. What do you think that you think it's going to head to hit Trump? You think I mean, you think it's going to go toward Trump soon or you think he's going to be scot free from all this shit? You know, um, I, I mean, the goods are there, there. and to be Tim, the, the writing's long been on the wall. Uh, uh, you know, know that saying, absolute yeah. power corrupt. So, I, I mean, mean, they got, got him. Checkmate, it seems. Uh, they have all these different uh, methods of getting pardoned. I'm going to get you back on the side. I'm going to hang up and call you back if you can hear me. So, yeah, what's going on? I'm, I'm calling Alex back. Sorry about this. I'm... On the go right now, and I stopped at a crowded, noisy park, and I'm tethering from my phone. So we probably have a bad connection. I'm calling Alex. This is awesome. Let's see if he answers. Alex, are you there? I'm wondering if you're muted, Alex. Are you muted? Okay, I'm hearing. On, I'm seeing on the chat. 
Got my voice is distorted. Sorry. Lots of echoes. Um, okay, it's not here today. I get a little signal that says poor net. I'm here with Alex Salazar, who I'm actually not hearing right now for some reason. Um, Can you hear me now, Tim? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm tethering from a phone onto a computer. I did it before a couple of weeks ago at Glenn. Um, it worked okay, but I'm not. I'm not seeing Alex. Hey, Scotty, how are you? Is the echo gone? Can someone let me know? Hi, Judas, and Nancy's in here. Um, I'm gonna hang up and try to get Alex back again. So, apologize for the delay. Um, it says very poor network connection. That's what's going on. But again, while I'm getting them back on, um, like I was saying a second ago, they got a fence up right now. The feds put a fence up at the Occupy Ice LA camp, and we need people to call and to shame them online and take it down. So I'm going to read these again. Their Twitter is at athrone underscore dot com. That's A-T-H-R-O-N-E underscore. I'm sorry, not dot com. It's a at athrone underscore Inc. I-N-C. And their uh, website is athrone.com, A-T-H-R-O-N-E.com, and the number is 1-800-446-4669. Trying Alex again. I don't know. I think he was driving so he might be in a bad reception area. So two people in a bad reception area is no good. Alex, are you there? Just a second, Tim. I back up. Hold on. Yeah, I'm not hearing Alex, so, uh, yeah, Glenn is on vacation. Um, give me a second, you guys. Okay, Tim, you got apologies. me? Okay, thanks, Scotty. I see, I sound better now. Now the issue is, where did Alex go? I'm working. Give me a second. I don't have any um, music in this computer right now, so I'm going to shut down Skype, and we're going to try again. And if I can't get him on here in about five more minutes, we might have to end the show early, unfortunately, because I'm not going to sit and talk to myself the whole time. I'm not that good. I'm not I'm not like a, a Carl Tuckerson or something. Uh, hang on, Alex. Let's get him on here. I'm reopening Skype. It says Alex is loud and clear. So you're saying I just can't hear Alex? All right, let's see. Let's try it again. I apologize to anyone that's coming on. We're having some technical difficulties, but... That's kind of normal for us. Uh, calling him again right now. Some of you said you guys could hear him. I can't hear him, so we're going to see right now. It's ringing. I, I don't know if he's going to... Okay, I think he reset his stuff on his end, so. Did it get quiet again? What does that mean? Okay, so everyone is able to hear Alex but me, evidently. Um... Now I just hear a Skype beeping where Alex should be. They keep saying Alex is unavailable. I'm going to try this one more time, see if we can get on. Alex, are you 
there. It says he's here. Can anybody else hear him? I don't see him on here. Alex, are you there? I hear you, Alex. Are you there? Yeah, I'm hearing static, you guys. This is not working out. I, I got you. I thought it would. Can you hear me now? I barely hear you, Alex. I, I am here. here. Can you guys hear him? Yeah, yeah it's just I have a connection. This is crazy. Alex, you there? Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you are. There you are. Got you. Got you. Okay. It says I have a connection. You said what? I am here. Okay. So, yeah, we were, I was just saying, you think that's going to all hit Trump before everything went crazy with our, our hookup? Yeah, I still don't hear Alex again. Do y'all hear Alex? I see he said he was echoing. I tried to fix that. I am. Um, uh, Wait, what? You broke up. It says I have a poor connection. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can barely hear you. <coughs> so, yeah, this... this um. Why don't you just introduce yourself um, real quick, Alex? And let's make sure we can hear you. PM Beers is sure. Hello, so my Beers. name is Alex. Okay, so my name is Alex Salazar. I'm a uh, former Los Angeles police officer. Yes, I was a pig once upon a time. I worked the most notorious uh, police station ever known. It was known as Rampart Division. It was where good people uh, went in and they became fascist. Uh, I did not think that I was going to change uh, the way that I did, but I ended up turning on my own people. I'm a uh, Chicano. My, my mother is uh, from Mexico. My, my dad is uh, also Chicano, Mexican American. And so I saw a lot of crazy stuff. I, I currently work as a, a private investigator. I've been doing a lot of uh, civil rights cases now for the past 20 years, working with attorneys, uh, the families of those who have lost loved ones to police assassinations, doing criminal defense cases, and pretty much anything that comes across the table. Uh, my goal is to talk about the truth, it's to investigate the truth, give an opinion based upon all the madness that I've gone through in my life. Okay, yeah, that, yeah, we, I mean, we've done some shows with you before, I, I highly recommend anyone who wants to, to listen to one of those, you can just, um, Search People's Radio for Alex Salazar. They're on my non-objective opinion shows. And uh, we did one with you and, and a, a while back about uh, uh, immigrant kids. So, yeah, I guess we're getting terrible. Me, yeah, we're getting terrible echoes, evidently. Um, as far as what the listeners are saying. Uh, are the echoes gone, Scotty? Okay, I guess it's okay now. So, Alex. Oh, no. Alex, are you there? Yeah, this isn't going good, y'all. This is really... Um, yeah, everyone's saying the sound is bad. And I lost Alex again. So, we might. You know what? I'll try one more time. We can't get this right. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Okay. Yeah, we can't get this right. Um, can y'all hear me? Alex, are you there? I am here. Yes. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So let's just skip the first question because, I mean, we, we, we kind of went all, all over. Why, why do you think, let me just ask you this, why do you think there's a whole bunch of black and Latino police that proudly protect Nazis and... I mean, they'll stand proudly and protect Nazis and attack the people that are opposing the Nazis. And they, 
pretty fascist and a lot of them support Trump and there's a, a Homeland Security I was telling you about earlier that has a um, racist tattoo. He has a Templar Knights tattoo on his arm. He's really proud about it. W what's going on with these police? Why? I mean, I know you said before that, that you felt like you were a white supremacist even though you were Latino. But why, um, why do you think these cops get like that? What makes them like that? Because you said, you said good people started a rampart and then it turned them bad. Right. Well, you know, I, I think a lot of people want to be police officers, you know, for various reasons, of course. My reason was I wanted to help out people, and it wasn't like that, the idealistic way that it's been portrayed in media. You know, I want to be a police officer, help people, because those good people, you know, usually become very twisted themselves. I guess they everybody would be ignorant to say that, but the vast majority do because they know that they are upholding the orders, the commands, the directives, the policies of the establishment. And the establishment doesn't always have the people's best interest at heart, I have learned, uh, especially if you're a poor person, especially if you're a homeless person, especially if you're undocumented. And, and so the police are supposed to be there for everybody. And so if you can have someone that's being served, like, let's say, in Beverly Hills or, or an affluent community, they're probably going to get the red carpet treatment. But if you're living in Compton, Watts, uh, East L.A., and, and some of these lower-income communities, you're going to be oppressed by the police because they're going to be driving around. They're going to be looking for you to, to do things, to try to catch you in things. It's gone so bad that in the city of Chicago a couple of weeks ago this past month, they set up a bait truck full of shoes for all these poor black kids. And, you know, the, the whole scheme blew up in the face of the Chicago Police Department and, and the people who had set up this type of, uh, of, of uh, enslavement, because that's, that's what it's all, all about here. You know, they're, they're trying to tantalize you know, the, these poor kids, it's, it's like sticking a bone or, or, or a piece of meat in front of a dog. What's going to happen? It's going to bite it. And, and, and so, you know, these, these, generally speaking, the police are good people. They only become twisted after they come on the job. They see their partners, their supervisors covering up, uh, assaulting people, framing people, and, and they're left in turmoil. And they're kind of like stuck. And after they've seen these things for a while, they're like, man, I can't say anything anymore because now I'm caught up into this bullshit. Now I'm caught up into this web of lies and deceitfulness. And, and so that's how they become the monster eventually. Yeah. That, I mean, we talked about it before. It just, it just puzzles me. Like, I don't know. I just can't see how, how, in my mind, I can't see how that happens, where you want to do good, then all of a sudden you're willing to go and do the total opposite. Like, just hurt people, destroy people.